you can also right click in the image and go to Z profile spectrum and this time we'll actually see a graph based on the individual bands okay so we see a couple of things on the x-axis this is our wavelength okay in in micrometers and the value is somewhere between 0 and 255 of, of that individual pixel you also see three vertical lines, the blue, green and red, and they're letting you know how your bands are displayed. Okay, so um, in the first band it's being displayed as blue, the second as green, the third as red. Okay, and this is what we call a spectral signature. So as I move, I'll switch the cursor location off, as I move to different features in my image, you'll see that the graph changes. It'll change quite a bit for water, for fire scars, and the profile is relating exactly to that crosshair in the zoom window there. And we're going to be talking quite a lot about spectral profiles throughout the semester, so it's really good to get comfortable with looking at how different features appear in the different wavelengths um, and how the different um, how the different profiles um, also look and the different forms and magnitude. I can also change my band combination from this window as well. So here we've got a standard th um, 321. If I left click and hold on one of my vertical lines, I can shift that over to a different band center. So I'll do that with all three. And then if I right click and go load new RGB combination, we'll see that the colour display changes also.